Making a difference in people's lives and being kind to others go hand in hand with each other. With it being National Skilled Nursing Care Week, we have the nurses and staff sharing how they utilize these skills to bring happiness to people's lives every day. How do I make a difference? Well, I know how I've made a difference, especially with my family members, um, even through the times during COVID when it was really difficult and the families basically relied on me to be their point person um, to communicate with their family members because they were not allowed in. Um, I actually um, made a, a kindness file um, and what it is, it is all the emails that I've ever gotten from family members from basically the time that I started here because um, I started during COVID and you know all of these are just you know filled with so much gratitude and appreciation um, and it makes me feel good that I've touched you know so many people's lives. Staff makes a big difference in our lives. Um, for my mom, gives her something to do during the day. Keeps her active. She enjoys everything that they do. And I don't worry about her when I know she's in activities. Giving a ninth of mine, warm, sharing uh, the daily lives, asking them how they feel, breaking their eyes. So let them talking. They start talking, they start counting histories, the, the past, present, and they like to listen. Coming to work, meeting my patient, giving them what they, uh, they need, feeding them, holding their hands, listening to them, and making them happy. I make a difference each and every day by bringing joy and passion into my role. My job, my career, is my passion. I don't look at it as being a job. I give my whole heart each and every day, not just to our residents, who are our key, but to my coworkers, our family members, our community. It takes a team to make a village, to create a village, and I'm part of that village, and I'm very happy to say that I'm here at Applewood. Hey guys, I know you're watching this video right now and you're probably thinking, what do you mean kindness and things like that and differences and stuff like that? You know, I'm the fun one. We're from like activities. So our kindness is underneath this mask. Every day I'm smiling and you're probably wondering, why is she still wearing her mask? Well now, I can show you the big smile I always have under my mask. How to cultivate kindness when you're working with the seniors is very easy. Putting yourself in someone else's shoes. Um, everyone's here for so many different reasons. You don't know what they've been through and you just want to be a helping hand. I try to come with a positive attitude for our residents and try to be very supportive during what's a very difficult time um, here in our rehab setting. I simply having manners. I think manners make such a difference when having a conversation with somebody and it makes them feel warm and welcome. I am. Um by coming in in the morning when I come in. I smile and say good morning, how was the day, how was the night. Um, I just have everybody smiling. It's, it's such a wonderful joy and feeling. I believe I cultivate kindness in every aspect of what I do during the day. Whether it's with my residents or their family members, I think it is such an important attribute to have. Um, when you're kind to your residents who are suffering and in pain and they're uncomfortable and they'd rather be home, you know, just that smile and that positive attitude that you can bring to them, you know, can just completely bring them out of a depressive state. Try to make residents happy, make them smiling. For me, cultivating kindness is really just about extending a smile and um, sharing that opportunity to make somebody's day better and hopefully it's contagious and it spreads and we have everybody that's willing to share a smile and pitch in and help um, with our residents every day. We extend the compassion that we expect to receive from others. Um, we do try our best to go out of our way to be kind and compassionate to everyone that we meet here at Applewood and hoping that it follows us in our personal lives as well.
trying to put myself in the resident's shoes. I know my grandmother was special to me when she was alive, so I try to show and extend to them the same level of love and compassion that was once shown to me. Always come in with a smile. Always be very happy and easygoing. Understand that they just need patience and a little eye contact. You have any conversation with them, you learn so much. Just be intrigued by them. They've lived a glorious life. They've got great stories. You just have to be willing to listen. That's how you cultivate kindness in the senior community.